Hey, it's Jennifer Sparks. I'm in Atlantic City, and I'm going to share with you my one-night comp stay at Bally's. My stay was a Wednesday night to Thursday. It is December 2023. We are parking in the parking garage today, but I'm going to be showing you other ways that you could enter Bally's as well. Parking during the week was $10. I believe it's $25 on the weekends. But if you have a higher tier card, your parking will be complimentary. Here's a look at the back side of Bally's from the boardwalk. Or is this actually the front side? They both have entrances. That tall tower in the back, that's the Bally's Tower. That is where we're gonna be staying tonight. Now I'm gonna show you how to walk in from the boardwalk. I'm here with my mom. She's in the scooter. She's not with me right now. This was taken actually a couple months ago, but I wanted to show you this because look at her how fast she goes when she's going to a casino. She's so funny. <laughs> I wanted to point out that there's elevators here. Now we're coming in from the valet area. This would be the closest entrance to the check-in and the carousel, the rotating lobby bar. There is no live music or video poker, but it spins and it has a happy hour. Like I just mentioned, it is December and it is Christmas time. When checking in, I was pleasantly surprised. They put me in the Bally's Tower this time. Usually when I have a comp room, they put me in the dentist Tower. That's what they seem to do and they usually have an upcharge for the Bally's Tower. But this time, they gave it to me automatically, so I was pretty excited because I've never stayed there before. The Bally's Tower is located right off of the casino floor. I know the rooms have been recently renovated, so I kind of know going in that it's going to be a better experience than my previous stays in the dentist Tower. Come on in, let me show you around. Let's go take a peek at the bathroom first. All the colors are like white and gray. Everything's very modern. It isn't high luxury, but it isn't bad either. It's pretty nice. I'm here in Atlantic City for 14 days. I know, it's a lot. <laughs> and I pretty much move like every day to a different resort. So I sleep in a different bed every night. Sometimes I wake up and I'm like, where am I? <laughs> I know a lot of people love Bally's and personally, it's not one of my favorite resorts. I'm here basically because in the past, I have received cruise offers from them because I've gambled there. Free carnival cruises, no joke. It sounds too good to be true, but it was true. I already took one. It costs like $400 for me and my husband to go on a cruise to Canada for six nights. So I'm basically here so I don't lose that status. Plus I have to make a video. We'll discuss more of that later at the end of this video. Right now, let's finish this room tour. The good and the bad, it, it's, it's a pretty place. The colors are really nice. It's very modern. Was it disgusting and gross? No, I didn't think so, but there was some like long hairs in the shower. Like some people would freak out over that, but I I've been a hairdresser for more than half my life. So like, that doesn't bother me. Mechanically, the place was sound. The wallpaper was all on the walls. Nothing was chipping and peeling. <laughs> it was pretty nice. The pillows, I didn't care for them. I actually hated the pillows, but the bed itself wasn't too bad. It was more comfortable than the chair and the sofa. I give them A for effort for the chair and the sofa, but it really wasn't that comfortable. The beach view is definitely a plus. If you look down, that's the dentist tower there. Right next door is Caesars. You're looking at the Centurion Tower. Those rooms are really nice. Pretty sunset, really nice views. Now it's time to go explore and see what's up for dinner. The cool thing about Bally's Tower is you get on the elevator from your floor to go to the restaurants or take the escalator from the casino. Where shall we go for dinner? Do you have a favorite place to dine when you go to Bally's? I was thinking about going to Jerry Longo's, but it was closed. The VIP lounge was closed the day I was there as well. The Casino Cafe and Grill is new and is a very nice addition to Bally's. On this floor, you can find a list of everything that is open. Let's take a little closer look at the happy hours. Okay, we could go down to the yard and get a happy hour down there. Let's go check that out. Guy Fieri's Chop House had a happy hour too, but it didn't start till 5. So we're going to go walk over to the dentist tower. That's where you could find the yard but they were closed for a private event. So we're gonna go just take another little walk around and then we're gonna go check out Guy Fieri's Chop House. Happy hour starts at five because that is when it opens. It was nice, I was like, I'm gonna go take a quick picture, but I had to go to the bar for the happy hour. When you're on the road as much as I am, you really need to find happy hours, <laughs> otherwise you'll go broke over eating. What I had ordered, it was like a puff pastry pizza it was okay I didn't love it I did love this casino cafe and grill however it is new and is only open for breakfast and lunch 
it wasn't on the menu, but I was really hoping to get like an egg sandwich on a bagel, and they were able to make that happen for me. The food was excellent. The best part of my experience there was I was sitting next to a man, and I didn't even talk to him, and he paid for my breakfast. He had said he just won some jackpots the night before, and he wanted to share it. I thought that was so nice. What an angel. Like, really nice people at Bally's. Okay, it's time to play some Willy Wonka. I have to put some money in the machine so that I could get my free cruises. I had did really well on the Willy Wonka slots over at Hard Rock this very same week, a couple days before this, so I'm hoping I could have the same kind of luck again here at Bally's. a very fun game when you hit the bonuses. If you're enjoying this video and finding it helpful, can you do me a favor and hit the video's like button. And if you want to see more about Atlantic City and Valleys, please subscribe to my channel. I'll leave some playlists at the end of this video that you can check out. like Willy Wonka because you could do pretty well when it's running well <laughs> on a 75 cent spin. You won! You did it! You did it! I knew you would! I just knew you would! Okay, so I double my money. Do I walk away or do I keep playing? What do you think, Willy? I love you. Now it is time for some video poker. One unfortunate thing about Bally's is they do not have a video poker bar. I didn't do too bad. I played probably about three hours in the casino and was down about $100. So it's really not a bad night. We're gonna go take a little walk. It's December 2023 and I wanna see the Christmas decorations. So we're gonna go walk over to Wild Wild West. Then I'm gonna take you out to the boardwalk and then we're gonna walk over to Caesars go check out the decorations over there. After that, later in this video, I'm going to be checking out the indoor 21 and older pool at Bally's. And after that, I'm gonna show you some video clips of what it looks like when I came here to get my cruise certificate and how just the madness of it. There are so many people that get the same offer. <laughs> and I took some videos and I have never figured out where exactly to put that those video clips. I'm gonna add them to the end of this video. I'm gonna take you outside to the boardwalk. It's not that busy out here in the winter time, but it's not that scary either. It's very bright. And the, you know, the music from Hook is playing. It's kind of just, just really chill. Visually, this is my favorite part of the Atlantic City boardwalk. If you're still with me, thank you so much for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. If it sounds like I'm tired, I really am. <laughs> I've been in um, Atlantic City for 12 days now, and um, I have two more days. I've just checked into the Hard Rock in a suite over here. I'm really, really excited. I'm enjoying a little downtime tonight, so I just really want to get this video out for you guys for this weekend. Back to Bally's. Let's take a look at the indoor pool. Not sure about the rest of the year, but when, in December when I was there, it was only open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And now for cruise day, the day you go to Bally's to redeem your voucher. You need to go to Bally's and you need to have your player's card and you need to go to the kiosk to redeem your cruise. There's no way around it, believe me, I tried. There was two times I could not make it and there was nothing I could do about it unless I was physically there. And as you can see, a lot of others get the same offer. You go to the kiosk, all you do is you press a button and then they mail you a certificate and then you call Carnival and you book your cruise. The only thing you're gonna be responsible for is the port taxes and the tips. That is it. We had a fabulous time. We booked a six night cruise that went to Canada from New York City. It was fantastic. It's good to sum it up. Even though Bally's isn't my favorite casino resort in Atlantic City or the boardwalk, the comps are great. This was the first resort in Atlantic City to give me free rooms. So I'm forever grateful.
and Rizzi on the casino that's ever offered me a free cruise, so I will always go gamble at Bally's. This is your host and your tour guide, Jennifer Sparks. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Check out my playlist right over here for more information about Atlantic City. Make sure you book that trip. Pack your bags and go. Be well to yourself and to others. Safe travels to you and good luck in the casinos.